Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Easy Clone. My name is Arvind. Today we'll be learning Ansible Tower rules. So what are rules and uh, what is the difference between Ansible Playbook and Ansible rules? So here, uh, the main key difference between Playbook and rules is uh, a Playbook has all the features within a single uh, file wherein Ansible rules are uh, divided those tasks, variables, handlers into different directories so the uh, main uh, definition for playbook is a script file which contains all the tasks that need to be performed along with all the ingredients required to perform these tasks ingredient means like files variables and uh, handlers and other uh, information wherein in ansible roles it has been divided into task files and handlers in different directories that's the main difference between Ansible uh, roles and playbook. The advantage of using Ansible roles are uh, when you are uh, developing a complex playbook, if you have all the information in within a single script, so it will be very complicated and it will be very difficult to understand and even to make any modification, it will be very difficult. That's where you will be using the Ansible roles, wherein you divide the task and you divide these uh, variables uh, and uh, handlers and all this information in different directories it will be easy for you to go ahead and uh, change or make any modification that is required okay and next is uh, we will be today learning uh, how to create roles and how to execute ansible roles okay here our last uh, in our previous video uh, we saw how to create uh, uh, ansible playbook and execute so today we'll be learning how to execute the ansible role so for that first we need to uh, configure the uh, github repository for the ansible role i've already created a role and uh, committed in the github so this is the role that i've created uh, and inside this role so if you see the first file would be install.yml file the first file which will be executed when we are uh, invoking the ansible role so it says that uh, roles role under this roles in current directory under this httpd all the files are residing like task handler files and all those folders we'll be seeing that now so inside this httpd under roles slash httpd we have files handlers and task so we'll go ahead and see what all these so task contains main activity what it will be performing so here if you see uh, it is installing httpd and it is uh, ensuring the service is starting and it is copying a file index.html file from the files directory to the server and it is notifying restart it is notifying the handler to restart the httpd service so what it does the uh, next part is we'll be seeing handler and files so files as we saw in a uh, task there was a copy uh, module so that one uh, actually this is a uh, some uh, web page a uh, sample web page that i've got it so i've uh, just uh, uploaded here in, under files so this particular file will be copied to the destination server handler so handler like uh, every time we call a uh, handler then uh, this particular service will restart so the uh, handler that we notified there was restart so here the restart service will uh, uh, be restarted the handler restart will restart the httpd service okay so this is a basic uh, uh, ansible role that i've created so let me uh, take you back to the task here and so today uh, we will install httpd start the service copy the uh, web page sample web page file to this particular uh, directory and restart the handler uh, notify the ha handler it will restart the httpd service okay okay let's go to the uh, ansible tower now 
so for that uh, since this time we have created this particular role in a private repository for that we need to create credentials first let me go ahead and create the credential this will be git in repo github private credentials type i'm going to select source control username is i'm giving my uh, github uh, repository credential you can give yours or uh, whichever you have if not you can also do it manually as i uh, suggested last time how to do it uh, manually in a previous video you can follow that as well in case if you do not have a github account you can uh, have the file copy to your uh, uh, machine the ansible tower server under the particular path so the path would be a var lib awx projects under that you can create your playbox okay so we create a credential let's go ahead and create the project now so i'm gonna private so the url is this the credential would be get a private clean save okay created so let's go ahead and now Just uh, syncing the GitHub repository to my local machine. Okay, it's done. So let's see whether it is copied or not. So let me just uh, log into my server now. going to this path where all the playbooks will be stored projects okay so if you see here do you see this github private so that is our project so let's go there it is This year, see the roles are copied. Okay, so now we will go in with the execution. So we need to update the inventory. So I'm just going to the Linux, updating the server that are created. Go to the host. It is a private IP. So I'm going to template. I'm going to create a template. So this time, um, be it hub private HTTPD. Okay. I'm going to run inventory is the static Linux project would be GitHub private. Playbook could be installed. Credentials will be Linux. Okay, name and privilege escalation. Same. All this will be similar. Only execution, almost everything will be similar. Only the roles, uh, the how, the way that we develop the playbook will be divorced. So it's executing. So let's go ahead and it's okay. Fail to connect to the host via SSH connect. Okay, so it's saying some issue with connecting to the host. Okay, let's check what is the issue. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go to credentials. ICT user, let's try again. Uh, this is the server uh, to which we will be implementing the playbook so let's go and check whether this server has any uh, web server installed or not okay, currently there are no web server installed okay so let's go ahead and configure the inventory configure the inventory let's go do the ping test yeah the ping is successful let's go ahead and create a template now so this would be github hyphen private static inventory project as github private credentials linux and escalation method save and we'll execute now So it's installing Apache package. So it's installing now. So let's go ahead and check whether it is updating or not. It's still not updated. It's installed. Let's go and check. You see here the web page is updated. So this is a sample web page which I copied. It's successfully updated. So um, we learned today how to execute the playbook and what is the difference between roles and uh, uh, ansible roles and playbook and now so we will also see how to create a role so uh, previously we just saw the roles uh, that was manually created wherein it has only three kind of folders which is files handlers and tasks the uh, others uh, uh, other folders as well so let's go ahead and see so this is the command to create so we need we can create in the server itself directly so I'm going to the particular folder where lib awx projects so I'm going to create the roles here galaxy Ansible Galaxy in it. The role name would be anything that is uh, according to your uh, requirement. I'm just going to give role iPhone one. Uh, uh, sorry, test iPhone one. The role test iPhone one was created. Let's check. If you see here test. Let's go to the test. 
if you see here there are folders like defaults files handlers meta read.md task templates test and more so inside a uh, role all these files will be created by default when we use this particular command ansible galaxy net it will create all these files by default in case if you do not want to use this you can also create all these files manually where all these uh, directories will be having a main.yml file that would be main. If we go ahead and check now we can keep all the defaults here so uh, yeah now all uh, folders will have default main.yml file inside that you can go and configure um, requirement that is uh, required for your uh, playbook okay so uh, in this uh, files and handlers and task as we already discussed so other others are was where you can uh, save all the variables and uh, templates also where you can uh, save all the uh, dynamic files where keep it keeps uh, changing right it with the files which keeps updating those files you can keep it in templates And if you see, want to see the structure of the role, you can use tree command. To use tree command, first you need to install the tree command. Okay, I'm installing the tree command now. Okay, so let's check the structure of that row test iphone one sorry you need to go outside the row if you see here you can see the complete structure of the role here where how many files and how many folders are there inside the role Okay, today what we have learned is uh, the difference between roles and Ansible playbook and how we can execute Ansible uh, roles from the GitHub private repository and also how to create Ansible role using Ansible ga Galaxy init command and how to check the structure of the role using tree command. If, uh, thank you for watching uh, our video. If you like this video, please uh, click on like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.